Okay, so from here, let me just make a new layer. I'm going to set this one to color. Now, from here, I'm just going to apply some simple colors here and uh, determine, you know, what kind of uh, what kind of creature is this going to be. Um, one of the key things here is that when I do this, I'm doing this on top of something that's either dark or it has just the right amount of uh, brightness. I don't want anything too bright. That's the main thing. If it's too bright, then what's going to happen is um, these colors are not going to come come off well. You know, it'll look uh, very pale, uh, very light, and just too light. If we have this dark, too dark, that's fine because then we have these these nice dark tones, and I plan on painting right on top of this anyways. So. It's not a big deal. Now, as I'm painting this, I'm thinking, wow, that's a strange looking tone. It's, it's looking a little bit too saturated, but that's okay. You know, that's a great thing about digital painting um, to conserve time, to conserve energy. You know, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going, paint the rest of it, fill it all in, and then I could just adjust it, you know, using Photoshop. Okay, so I have that first tone in there, and I do want to adjust this tone. So what can I do? I can press Control U or Command U, you know, and that's going to bring up uh, hue and saturation. And from here, let me just adjust the saturation. Yeah, I guess that, that could do. And then I'm going to adjust the the hue. Okay, now I want this character to really um, stand out, and I still want it to feel very much like a uh, a creature that lives in the water. Okay, so perhaps green is a little bit better, a little less saturated, but then green could be a little bit too kind of cliche. So those are the thoughts going in my head. You know, if this goes on to a movie, I want people to look at it and remember it, make it memorable, right? So if I make it too cliche, it won't look good. If I make it look too different, it might not look good either. So I'm gonna think about it like this. I'm gonna make it green, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna add on other colors onto it and vary it up a bit. That hopefully will make it nice and uh, memorable. Okay, so let's go to red now. I'm just going to apply some red here onto the fins. Okay, um, what can we do to the rest of the skin? perhaps little blotches of red. You know, that could be a possibility. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with a few little blotches of red and then it's going to have this crazy red uh, hair. Except the hair, of course, it they're fin. It's a fin instead. But um, I designed it in such a way where it's kind of like this slick back kind of mohawk. So that's going to be kind of fun. Okay. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm like looking at this and going, "Oh, that that red is just too red, too saturated." So, let me just tone this down a little bit and do that part again. Okay. Less saturated, feels better. Okay, good. Now, let's go on to the belly, and the belly actually, you know what? Before we continue, uh I forgot to get this part of the leg. Now obviously I can't eye drop this just like this. I would want to set this to normal first, then eye drop it, and then set it back to color and paint it in. Otherwise I might pick the wrong kind of green and it, it might affect the rest of my uh, colors here. Okay, so now for the belly, what kind of a belly do I want? 
you know, usually I would go for something, if I'm just thinking very typical, I'm probably going to think uh, something creamier, yellower. Uh, so it feels like something that could already be out there. A yellow belly, green skin. Um, there are a lot of fish with this kind of a color scheme. So at this point, you know, these colors, I would really select these colors uh, based on what it says in the script. What kind of character is this? Is it, you know, what kind of personality does it have? All those kind of things, as much information as possible to make the best uh, decision possible. Okay, but I think overall that's going to look cool, you know. We have a nice uh, creamy belly and then a much more colorful uh, skin on top. I think that'll look great. Let me just get into these little crevices here. Paint in these little spots. Okay, so that's looking good as well. Okay, great. Now let's get into the vest. So what kind of vest is this? This is going to be It's going to be a brown vest, you know, fisherman's vest. That's what I'm thinking, right? So, in my head, this is a type of creature. This is a type of creature that speaks and and lives um, in more of a civilized manner. It's not a wild wild creature you know it can think and stuff like that so it wears a vest right that's the idea now if you notice this vest is actually quite um, quite light and this is what I was saying that you have to get those tones right they can't be they can be darker but they can't be too light okay so for that reason I'm just gonna coat over top of this uh, vest over here a darker tone until we get it the right amount of brown okay so sometimes you do need to make some adjustments here and there but that's okay and that's that's definitely a part of painting and as you get better and better you're gonna have to do less and less of this okay so there we go, that, that looks okay. And perhaps now I can reduce that brown, reduce the uh, amount of saturation there. This does feel a little saturated. Okay, there we go, so that looks good. And great, now it's starting to look like some sort of creature uh, in the darkness and uh, that's great that's a great start okay now let's get into the teeth right here let's give them some orangey type of teeth okay there we go perhaps a little bit more orange and then as we get into lighter tones I'm gonna bring out some yellows some uh, less saturated yellows. Okay, so that's the color layer. Very, very simple. Very straightforward. Let's color in some of these fish as well. Okay. Perhaps one can be that tone right there. Another one can be blue. Okay. Wanted to make it some nice, fun, colorful fish. Uh, another one could be more red, perhaps. Perhaps this one right here can be a nice a darker red. And the other one, perhaps that one's more neutral.
Okay, so there we go.